Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello there this is me Alif Hilmi or Primal on uh, if you can see through the change of scenery I am back on I am back in college and my college is not famous for having the best of Wi-Fi however well I'm managing I'm in an empty room so that I can record in peace without people passing by Anyhow, this morning I have been uh, tagged by this uh, by a certain person known as Beviraku Centarax. You should follow them, and he released a video where he would roast people's submissions of personas, uh, mine included. So, without further ado, let's watch the video. This will be my first genuine reaction, and. Well, well, enjoy. 2021. I finally uploaded. Woo! Nice intro. Bit of a. Whoa. That's cool. Salutations, everybody. My name is Bivirigo. And once again, we are trying something new today. Surprisingly, mm -hmm. one of my first videos that deals with interaction with followers or social media individuals. A roast your fursona video. Well, then. Being a small channel of 600 some subscribers. Well, then, what to expect? It's been quite popular amongst the furry uh, community. I didn't think I would successfully pull this off, but I did. Mm. This video will also be the first with a new mic that I found at the thrift store for a whopping $5. Wow. Because the employee thought it was a power adapter. The mic is the blue snowball mic, and it's actually a pretty good mic. I love it. <laughs> That's quite nice. Congratulations. Five dollars. Gosh, that was an amazing find. Well, sorry for not having any stills of my character because I don't have the money to do that right now. Ah, uh, funny. For now we're just. <laughs> oh, money problems. You know, you can hit me up sometime. I might, I might be able to draw you, to draw a couple for you. Yeah, it's not gonna look great, but eh. I'm gonna go with uh. Just, just random photos, <laughs> and that's it. Let's go ahead and get to the main content. Sure. Alrighty, before I begin the main part of this video, I do wish to say a disclaimer. Anything said in this video is for entertainment purposes only, and it's not to be taken seriously. All right. Please, again, I am emphasizing that this is for fun and games and not supposed to be taken seriously. Sure, All sure, your sure. are great. Our personas are unique in a great way. I'll probably mm. be doing a complimentary persona video sooner in the future. I'll but be looking forward to that. Going with ropes. Once again, anything said in this video is for entertainment purposes only. Do not get hurt what I say, please. All right, all right. The first persona we have is Primal the Plant Dragon. There you go. But There's my boy. Do a sapling on Twitter. Okay, so a plant dragon. Who yeah. are the parents? <laughs> How does that work? I see there's a lot of green, but then suddenly there's red glasses with blue eyes. It's probably be unique, am I right? <laughs> and then I see latex blood. Is he a plant dragon? Why does he have latex blood? Well, do you know what latex is? It's rubber. If you cut a tree open, there's rubber, of course. <laughs> Still though, yeah, ah oh, man, <laughs> oh it's so funny. And he should be having water blood to transfer. Water blood, latex blood. It's the same thing. Latex is just a water base. Get your science facts right. So you're probably uh twenty twenty five. You should. Th this is elementary school stuff. Those nutrients around his plant like structures. Does he photosynthesize? Yes, Does I do. Does he eat? He I do eat. Dragon. Yes. Why is his tongue not green? Uh, because it's only half of that. That's all. This persona, by definition, confuses me so much because he's a plant dragon and doesn't have any necessary plant features. 
bullshit have leaves <laughs> oh man <laughs> yeah my sona i would need some sort of explaining to do usually but oh well uh, i did whip it up in in two hours because i was rushing to get to get a place in a com but i get it but hey i'll go to sona now <laughs> Okay, so our second persona here is Kane the Synth by at Kain. Kain the Synth, not Kane. When Wilder should put pronunciations. <laughs> Win Wilder 12. Win Wilder. Okay, okay. I see color now. That's good. <laughs> One problem though is that I just Google Synths and the original post came out for its creator. Are synths just cheap protogens with less rules? No bullshit. Rules? No. They are totally different species. They are 100% synthetic. If so then, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to say that you are a yard shell protogen, my dude. You're not, you're not. Synths are epic and they are less used than protogens. Well, they don't have the floof, which is fine. And here's the thing. They don't have the stupid rules. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, synths are not really known by many furries. By many furries, people know the protogens more, so... Well, be it. What threats are protogen? Just like the mic I'm using. <laughs> now, if we were talking about the design of this persona, I say the only thing I can roast, since I am very bad at roasting apparently, is that one detail in <laughs> the belly. Why is that there? What's the purpose? What purpose does it serve? Oh, it a it's it's a nudge. It, that's a thing. That's part of the synth anatomy. Uh, I presume that it's like to open up. Since synths are very segmented, the each part can detach or something. So I think that's maybe to open up the belly. A battle mark. The third persona that I have is at Milo the Dra Milo the Dragon. Red lemonade. Ah, uh, my friend. Dragon by at. Red Lemon 07. Oh, what do you know? One of my Discord server members. Huh. I don't think I'm going to be easy with you. <laughs> I'm not. According to your ref, you're a dragon. If that is the case, right. how do you hold so many similarities to the angel dragon? Did you want to be <laughs> <laughs> Man, this is a dragon. <laughs> Right, right. A special species of dragon? So you said you wanted to be just dragon? What's Come with on. all the colors on this co Come on, man. Dragon is a dragon. So be it. Color palette. When 90% of your fursona is this tan light color. <laughs> Why is your fursona wearing a collar when it, it isn't a canine or lupine? Because he wants to. How dare you call her a dragon? It's a dragon. That's it doesn't have a snoot, it's a dragon. Very disrespectful toward the dragon species. Finally, Bullshit. Your horns are too small. Bullshit. When you're making a dragon, go ham. That's my tip on making dragons. You can do whatever you want. That's why dragons are so popular. Because there is no real life uh, base to base dragons on. You want your dragon to have, what, 7 million horns? Go ahead. It's just a floof ball, go ahead. Well then. Oh, shaking my head. Persona number four is Koa the Kid Fox. Play at Smutty. Kitty Katara C on Twitter. Wow. This reference tree has a lot of detail. This persona, this persona is pretty detailed and everything blends in with each other. Though I can't spare you on this, especially after you post the red. red. <laughs> Looking a bit closer to the red, I see this paw pad. Shiny. It appears your paw pad isn't the average paw pad. <laughs> it's shiny and... It's like water. <laughs> it appears to be a sparkle dog. So <laughs> a detail one. If that is the case that your paw pad is just that of a sparkle dog, then does that mean your persona is a sparkle dog? Not necessarily. Uh, you can add elements from other sonas, but not really not really say that if you have one small tiny feature it is that 
Wait, it isn't a dog. It's a fox and a cat. Will find a feline? Feline? Persona number five <laughs> is Xander by at XanderDerp20 on Twitter, of course. It's all on Twitter. Flannel, glasses, weird shapes in weird places. Is that supposed to be a belly button? I think that's, that is supposed to be either a belly button or a chest mark, you know, a belly mark. Flannel, flannel, and glasses, chat. Is that uh -huh. supposed to be a tattoo? What is the story of that? It looks like you have some special Power Ranger shape on your belly and ready to morph into your suit. If you are a Power Ranger, what is your morphing animal? Please, tell me all the details. Persona number six is oh, Vax. Eh, it's actually Vulcan on uh, at WEP underscore Vulcan on Twitter. The only thing I have to say about this is that you're an orange fox. That's all the roast I have. You are a fox. Basic. <laughs> oh, the debate where foxes are too overused. In case you aren't convinced, please explain to me why do you have a blue tongue? <laughs> is it because of an oxygen deficiency? Do you need help? Do you need to go to hospital? Well, who knows? All I know is that the only roast I can make with you is that you are a fox. <laughs> <laughs> you are a fox. Oh man, you have the audacity to say that. Just a fox. Persona number seven, Void. At Cypher not found on Twitter. I might may put my own uh, roast a bit. First of all, that's a lot of unused space in your ref sir. I know you want to emphasize the size of your wing, but. You could have just you you could have just uh, shortened it a bit. It's really off center. There's a lot of space here for palette and maybe other stuff. Analyzing this persona, everything seems well, except for the glasses. How in the laws of physics in this current universe will those glasses stay float on your face without ears? They're pinchners. Do you know what pinchners are? There are special glasses that you pin to your nose, or beak in this case. So, yes, by the laws of the universe, putting a peg on your nose will keep it stuck there. I know you have a beak, but wouldn't the glasses just slide off the beak if they're just resting on your beak? Speaking of ears, where are they? I they're hidden underneath the fluff. You don't need, you don't need visible ears. So, if I'm wearing headphones, do I have ears? Yes, I do. It's under my headphones. Same goes with this. It's under the fluff. I know birds don't have ears, but birds do have ear entrances under their irrecoolers. Auriculars. Irrecoolers. I don't know how to say it. I'm not a bird species expert, but there should be some. Right under... <laughs> no, there shouldn't be. If you look at real life birds, you don't really see it. You only have to look real close. Closer than this. Also, this is a cartoon. For fuck's sake. Simplicity. Well, having seven personas to roast is amazing for this video. But I think I need to waste more time. Hmm. Thank you, everyone, for submitting for your persona. I really appreciate it. And to make this video a bit longer. Oh, oh you tagged it wrong. This is uh, the Beviaru Center X persona already. Uh -huh. I'm going to go out of my way to roast my own persona brutally. Let's see how many details I can point out and uh, how do I put it? Roast. Tarin. <laughs> so, persona number eight is Bibiracus and Tarix. Oh, so that's how you pronounce you know, Bibiraku Centaur X. Centaur X. Sen mm. My own persona, <coughs> at Bivirigu on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Anywhere is at Bivirigu. Well, funny, you have a Facebook. I'll uh, get all my relatives to follow you. Oh, well, well. Haven't we all waited for me to go into my persona in detail? Well, this is my time to shine. Hmm. First off, what the heck is he? Z Wolf? 
Is he a jackal? Deer? Angel? Dragon? Tiger? Combination. What are those markings? Would you really ex Looks like a music like marking. The maker to make these? I think yeah. Not. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, you pay. You pay. So city, they should know. The first two maker will probably charge three thousand dollars to make this. Yeah. Yeah. No shit. <laughs> no shit. They would. Work hard and put a lot of detail in their suits. I wouldn't be angry if they charged that much because honestly, first two makers dedicate so much time to making this perfect craft. These horns look Correct. pretty good. Why are they so long? First you said that these horns, first you said for a dragon, for Midos dragon, that those horns are too short. And I already said that you do, those horns are too long. Bias based. <laughs> like, who in the right mind would put a dangerous, long horned thing on your head? You. <laughs> now look at that tongue. Yeah, it's a nice tongue. It's nice and pink. It is a normal colored tongue. Why isn't it purple like the rest of the body in market geeks? Uh, why isn't my tongue peach? Why is my why isn't my tongue tan peach like the rest of my body? Hmm? <laughs> or blue! You can make it blue! Could you not have been satisfied with small wings? Why Well me neither fam. You and my wings can't work. Just light. But I do see a problem in the anatomy where the wings seem to connect at the same joint at the back. You should connect a bit down here because, well, how are you going to flap it? Why do they have to be so big? How hmm. the heck would you fit into a small space with those large wings? Uh, you just fold it in. That works. And that tail! It's excessively long. Bullshit. Wouldn't that mean it gets dirty because of the constant dragging on the floor? Because it seems to me that you won't be able to wrap your tail around you like a sand from like Dragon Ball. And look at the those feet. What are those feet? They're digitigrade feet. I don't see a problem with it. Ridley has those feet. Are those feet just bird feet? How do you even run with those? Well, you run on your toes. It's easy. It's completely easy. Do you have to hop around like a mere bird? You don't. Man, you're, you're, you're fucking heavy. Like something from Homestuck. Look at those. <laughs> it's basically the true definition of Homestuck horns. I guarantee you. <laughs> finally, Damn. most importantly. How do you even pronounce that name? Beviraku Centarex. Who even thought of it? Did you? You. <laughs> Did you just combine letters and see what sticks? Beviraku Zentarex? Beviraku Zentar? You don't, you don't. Cake? <laughs> I don't care. All I know is that this Fertona Funny. is a true sparkle dog. Oh, is this sparkle dog? I generally thought it was a dragon though. One more character that I did not roast here. Hmm? Partly because it would take me 15 minutes to roast in its entirety. Koa Maligarian, the mascot for Furry Conquest. Koa Maligarian, Sin, Sin Sonic. That's a lot of rainbows. Yeah, that's definitely a lot of rainbows. Hmm. Nice dog. But perhaps, I think this one will be for another video. I don't want to go in-depth with this monstrosity. Anyhow, if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave a like. I usually don't ask that, but I might as well ask it now. Nah, I'm not gonna leave a like. As always, stay unique, be truthful, and have a fertile day. Well then. I won't leave a like, won't share, but what's important is there's this reaction video. I'll probably promote it to my 16 subscribers. Yeah, it's fine. Anyhow, that was all. Thanks so much for watching. I am 
Alifimi or Primal, and I will see you later. Assalamualaikum.